Hey guys, Lex here, back for some more no Kuni last time. We got the last stone and gotta talk to Marcuson to fix the staff. I already did the intro actually, but uh, I had to run all the way over here anyway, so just start here so I don't have to edit as much. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Guess what, your princeliness? We got all them stones. You have Mortstar's magic stones? So you recovered the map from Kublai. That's right, your highness. Well, actually, he kind of gave it to us. Will I help you? The Sky Pirate? He's not a bad sort once you get to know him. He took us under his wing, like, he even gave us a dragon to fly upon Tidy, eh? He gave you a dragon? Can this be true? It's true, your highness. Tangri helped us find the three magic stones. But he couldn't have done it without him. Problem now is how to stick the stones back onto the Mornstar, and I won't lie to you, we don't have the foggiest. We were kind of hoping you might be able to help us, your highness. Please, give me the wand and the stones. I wish to examine them. Hmm, this is a rather tricky one. Oh, don't tell me you can't help us either. The stones are just too big, aren't they? Well, if it were a mere matter of unifying the sizes of the wand and the stones, my powers would more than suffice. But I'm afraid it's not only their dimensions that are out of alignment. There's another problem, one that I lack the ability to resolve. Hang on a minute. Are you telling us it ain't just the wonky sizes we have to worry about? It's never flippin' easy, is it? Ah, I think I get it. Just think for a moment. When exactly did we get hold of Mornstar? It was when we were sent back to the past, which means, uh problem may stem from attempting to join the Mornstar of 15 years past with the stones you obtained here in the prison. As long as there is this time difference, so to speak, it may not be possible to unite them. So we need to find Mornstar here in the present? If only it were that simple. I had my men search for it, but it seems it had been destroyed. But a trace of it remains in our time. Hold on, we brought it here with us from the past, so surely it makes sense that it doesn't exist in the prison as well. Oh yeah, wait, what? <laughs> hold on, hold on, this ain't... This is all getting a bit too flipping complicated for me. There may be one who can help you. I speak of Kulan, of the Four Great Sages. Magical powers were the most formidable. Oh, well, if we find the Great Sage Kulan, she could help us with Mornstar. Talking about Kulon, the Queen of the Heavens, right? She ruled a city in the clouds called Xanadu, but that place was destroyed, yes. Jeepers, her city was destroyed. Can it really be five years ago? Yes, it must be. Five years ago, news reached us that Shadar had attacked the Celestial Citadel of Xanadu. But by the time we mustered our forces, it was too late. When Hamlin's airborne divisions arrived, Xanadu had been wiped from the map. I'm afraid I do not know what became of the Queen and her subjects, but perhaps if you are lucky... Ah, f ugh, fat chance. Sounds like Shaddaa dealt with them just like he dealt with your predecessor. Swain, please. In any case, it's not within my power to help you. For that, I can only apologize. Don't worry, Your Majesty. There must be another way. Well, if we can't find Kulan, I guess we'll have to try another great sage. Another? Well, at least she is no longer with us. She leaves only Rashad. Yes, my father is sure to know something. Your father? Ah, now I see where you get your wisdom. Yes, Rashad may well be able to help you. Ah, uh, thank you, your majesty. Hmm. We're not going to find anything out by hanging around here swapping compliments. Let's be off, shall we? Sure, let's find somebody who could help us. They're out there somewhere, I just know they are. Okay. Travel. What do we do now? We're stuck for a quick stroll and he's... I think, like... What? Oh. What? Wait a minute. There's a portal here? Is there a portal to go back? Oh, okay. Gosh, look at her. What? The ghost. That's not the type of armor you find around these parts. There's no snouts for starters. Hmm, 
There sure is something strange about her. Hold on, could she be? What is it, Swain? Is she a friend of yours? <laughs> yeah, we go way back, but seriously, it's that armor she's wearing. It's what they wore at Xanadu. You what? I thought Xanadu was destroyed. It was alive five years ago. <laughs> so she's a survivor. So she's a survivor, is she? There's Lucky. Come on, Ollie boy. Let's find out where our girl's got to save for herself. Yeah, my voices are off. How's the ghost? Ooh. Pale, silent, glowing. Yep. I reckon you're going to need to use a spell if you want to have a chat with this one, Ollie boy. Yeah, my voice is kind of weird today. I don't know how to do a... What's his name? <laughs> uh, I can't do a trip with this. Can it be? Can you... Can you see me? Of course we can. Why wouldn't we be able to? Oh, this is marvelous. And you can hear me too. Sure, we can hear you, but if we're using spirit medium to talk to you, it must mean... You are correct. I lost my life some time ago. And you are the first to notice my presence. Well, we weren't going to miss you in that get-up, were we? So, you came from Xanadu, did you? Indeed. The Celestial Kingdom of Xanadu was my home. I was charged with protecting our queen. But Shadar destroyed Xanadu, didn't he? So I guess you, um... No, I did not fall in battle. I was slain by a comrade, a fellow citizen of Xanadu. Huh? What do you mean? What you said was correct. Shadar did indeed lay waste to my home. My friend made his... The fiend made his way into the inner sanctum of the palace unnoticed by anyone. Our magic had no effect on him. Even the mighty sorcery of Queen Kulan was useless. Kulan? But we heard she was the most powerful magic of all the great sages. Nonetheless, it was no use. She was too powerless against him. But Shadar did not take our lives. No, he robbed us of something else. He stole the hearts, and he took the hearts of all who dwelt in our city. He stole all your hearts? <laughs> Indeed, without hearts to call our own, we lacked emotion, we lacked reason. And that was how it came to pass that. Yo, oh, you said enough. We can imagine what happened then, believe me. Dar will pay for this. What happened that day I will never forget. Its horror is forever etched into my memory. It's horrible to be killed by one of your own people. I'm, I'm so sorry. Do not pity me. My people still have hope. Oh, what do you mean? Queen Kulan, the Queen of the Heavens, she lives still. Ah! She does, but we thought that... Now that I dwell in the spirit realm, I can feel her presence. I can sense my queen's power. For years, I have searched for her without cease. She is not to be found in this kingdom. I sense her presence somewhere to the north of here. But I sense something else, an evil so terrible, I fear to approach it. North of here? You mean Tombstone Trail? Hmm. Maybe time was there was another kingdom on this continent. Now there's only Hamlin and the odd town or two. If she's out there, you have to find her. Got angry. If the Queen of the Heaven is somewhere around here, we're sure to find her. Do you mean it? Do you really mean to search for her? You have my eternal gratitude. Don't worry, ma'am. We won't let Shadar get away with your teeth dud. And besides, we have our own scores to settle with the fiendish scoundrel. Oh, stop trying to impress her by sounding all heroic. What he means to say is leave it to us. I thank you most hopefully. I am deeply grateful. Ah, I almost forgot. Should you find Queen Kulan or any other survivor from Xanadu, would you give them this? It was damaged by the fire that swept through our realm, but it was the only remaining proof that my city, and indeed myself, ever existed. Sure, leave it to us. Wings of Xanadu. That's enough to chat for now. It's time to scour Automata and see if we could find Queen Kulan. Okay. Uh, go out. Get any new quests? Nope. Um, let's just travel to Hamlet. Wait, no. I meant to travel to... Let's travel to... School Mountain. No, wait. <laughs> let's travel to Tombstone Trail. 
and then get on Tengri. I know there was a town here. Oh, there's a star to chose. Okay. Uh, right here. Can I? Can you drop me here? Seek fortune. Okay. Yep, I already got those. But let's take a look here. Power stone. Sounds familiar. No way. I should have tried going here before, but I didn't want to deal with that, so Perdita. Who goes there? Ah, I see you're not from these parts. How oh, very absurd of you. Listen, we've loved to stay and chat, but we got things to do. This town has been blessed by a higher power. I cannot allow the likes of you to disturb the tranquility of such a sacred place. Gee, sorry mister, we didn't know, but we're not here to disturb anything. Talk about a warm, flipping welcome. This miserable so-and-so could do with some lessons in hospitality from our dear old ma'am. Seize your senseless ritterings. I will not let you pass. Be gone. I have more important matters to attend to. The sacred ceremony is about to begin, and Queen Kulan will not be kept waiting. Hang on, did you just say Queen Kulan? Sir, we're after her. Ah, just as I thought you intend to harm the queen. Well, you shall not do so while I draw breath. No, you got it all wrong, mister. We just want to speak to her. Somebody told us she was still alive, the person who gave us this medal. But, but how? Tell me, where did you find this? She met a lady in Hamlin. She was wearing armor just like yours. The P, is she here now? No, she said she wouldn't travel north. Reckon she had another on her plate already. What with her being dead and <laughs> Would you say that? But this... Can it be true? Can she really be gone? Seems our friend here and that mysterious woman have some history. I heard she had not escaped. But I cannot allow my feelings to come before my duty. Tell me, what business have you with our queen? Something we need to ask her. I see. Well, I will let you pass, but I'm afraid you may be out of luck. What? You mean we can't see Queen Kulan? Fear she will have no time for you now. They did not say that she's preparing to preside over the sacred ceremony. For the time being, take a look around town and see how it has blossomed since receiving the blessing of the Queen of the Heavens. Cool. Oh. So it's like Aztec, Perdita, the Lost Land. Hmm, just give him my usual accent, because I don't know how to do accents. Huh? Can I talk to this guy? Orgle, orgle, orgle. Uh, where's the animal one? I know, it doesn't have the thing. Yep. That alpaca, it is old enough to look after itself. You give it too much attention. Take a look around town and see how it's been blessed by Queen of the Heavens. The blessings of the Queen cleanse our hearts, and we have no more worries or fears. Please, Kate. And. Do charge Green chest where? Up there. Huh? Um, this? Ready? Take that! Hot blooded badge. Oh. Oh hello, can I help you today? Uh, I got everything here.
Ooh. Oh, and this is an ingredient too. So everyone gets one. Great sword. Thirty K. Just uh, and occasionally stuns. Damn, that's good. Guess I'm getting three. It's also. It is the sword's done now. <laughs> Be too good. And this one makes him sleep. Damn. About armor. You do fade. So this is more of a magic base shield. Nah. Shining scales, strip type intensifying. Buy one for a collection. And these. I, I didn't look up recipes. I should uh But I forgot to do. And caramels. Where did I get these? Oh. Probably ding dong till. Wait, uh, can I sell? Sure, I have right dues and all right. Just here, a cake, rest for the story. Oh, 320, so expensive. <laughs> Ever since Queen Kulan brought her blessings to this place, God has stopped anyone entering this town. It's a little, a little peculiar. Look, Ollie boy, your wizard's companion's filling up, and there'll be memories of folk who stayed here. Yeah, the page isn't even about this town. Where the heck is that? Where it's at home? Xanadu. Oh. Ends of the world. Okay, I kind of want to look at that. So, uh, make a new slot. Yeah, the perfect sleep. Yeah, let's take a look. Where's Xanadu? No. Xanadu. Xanadu was a city built exclusively via magical means. Situated atop a mighty stone pillar, it was summoned from the depths of the earth. It was ruled by a great sorceress who possessed truly fearsome magical power, and whose prophecies were believed to be infallible. Pleasantly warm, chafy green, as a turn, loud sweeper racing. Oh, Dragon's Lair. Cave near Xanadu that was destroyed at the same time as the floating city. It was once said to have home of a mighty dragon and was therefore off limits to ordinary travelers. Cool. Wait, let me check a look. Chest, 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 chest. And then that's where the quest is, so go clockwise except for this just stone drop you outsiders what are you doing here you must not disturb the peace of Perdida hola look at her she's quite wait she's very cute is she not she's the cutest hope she's not a, what, who 
Oh, on her chest. I was so confused. Feels up. Maybe she will too will receive the blessings of Queen Kula. What's her? I heard that the great giant man has come to our town again. Once again, what has brought one of so fearsome to Perdita? They say all will be washed away. All will be made clean. I don't know how to do that Mexican accent. <laughs> we who have been blessed feel no more fear. We who lived so or so long in terror of the Dark Chin are now free from all fear. Okay. Young Nina has not yet been blessed. Maybe that is why there is so much fear in her eyes. We need not think. We need not do anything. Is this not freedom? Tell me what it is. Uh, I already took. We get new quests. Oh shit, it's horse. Okay. Look up the solutions. Bounty hunt. Oh. Oh man. Is there any new quests? Oh. Omte and Yule Village Square appears to be looking for someone. And visiting Yule appears to have lost something important. Hmm. These two close to this. I do those two quests. Let's double check. I don't know how many star stamps I have. That's five, five, six, uh, that might be enough. Let's do third medium. Oh, it's you, Ollie. Well, you must have a lot of time on your hands to climb all the way up here. Well, we had a dragon take us up here. It must have been tough for you though, huh? Hardly. One of the great things about being a ghost is that I can pretty much go anywhere. Anyway, take a look at the words on the board here. They're written in funny letters, aren't they? Those are from the Sagely Stone Age. This town is so remote that there are still traces of those times here. Blimey, I can't make heads nor tail of that wonky writing. Those they do look a bit like Neskin, but now that I think about it, Maybe you're not as stupid as you look, Pipsqueak. <laughs> They're actually based on Nazcan runes. And speaking of Nazcan, it's been a while since I gave you something to decipher. You look through the chapter called Regions of the World, in your wizard's companion you'll find bits of Nazcan written there. A certain character that only appears in one location. My question is, where is it? Don't worry, this one isn't as hard as it sounds, well not quite. <laughs> Can you work it out? Let me know. Character in the places of the world. Uh, doesn't appear in any other. Is it the star or the? Hmm. I know those are numbers. This is the Xanadu one. Talk to him, see if there's a hint. We've worked it out, Ollie. Let me give you the question again. Look through the chapter called Regions of the World. Bits of Naskin. Regions of the World. Ah, uh, remember, just because it's Naskin, it doesn't mean it's long. I'm not asking you to trawl through an ancient poem or anything. 
or even the whole world word. Uh, region of the word. I'm thinking. I gotta think about this. <laughs> I guess it's a number. Because these are... I think that's one... Let me just look at the numbers. One is a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five, three, I guess the number six. This I X. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, damn it, seven, eight, nine, apostrophe, boat, base, <laughs> this thing. Special characters. Looking at the book. Oh wait, I'm dumb. Six is. It's not the number six, right? It's the. If you just said it out loud, or is it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. No. Where's number six at? One, two, three, four, five. Is this different? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, old Smokey. Oh, holy shit, I was right. Oh my god, I, I was putting six. Alright, you got it, Ollie. Each area is marked on the maps, corresponds with a number written in Naskin. And the only character that appears once is the six next to Jabal Al Dukan. Looks like you're really getting to know your way around the Wizard's Companion. I think though, deserves a reward. Fail. With two triangles. Gee, thanks, Horst. I'm sure it'll come real handy. Oh, can I ask you something? Do you know anything about the little island that has a monument with Naskin writing on it? Off in the sea to west of the fairy ground, just... Do you know the one with the... What we mean? With the fairy ground? Hmm, oh, I think there was a big battle there during the Wizard Wars. But I'm not sure there used to be a much bigger island there. Where can this new one have sprung from? Well, Mam always told us fairies she made all these islands around by there. Maybe she wasn't talking out of her hat after all. Really? So Sphere's mom can do creation magic? Interesting. Eh? Really reckon she wasn't fibbing? Ha! There's more to my old ma'am than meets the eye. Hold on a minute. How'd you know all this? Hmm, how oh, I, um... That's a good question, I don't remember. Sure do know an awful lot, Horace. I'll bet there isn't a single thing you don't know about the wizard's companion. So what's your story, Mon? How come you all, you know all about the dim and distant past? Told you, Pesqueak, I'm the Sage of Ages. Not a flipping answer. <laughs> but it's all I can remember. I'm Horus, the Age of Ages. Beyond that, your guess is good mine. Really can't remember? I'm certain that traveling the world would help bring back more of my memory. But now I'm not so sure. Not I feel like it's all coming back to me, but then it goes again. I'm right back where I started. Ah, uh, who cares? 
What matters is that I could go wherever I like, see wherever I please. Why frit about a little thing like losing my memory? I guess so, I mean, as long as you're sure you're happy. I'll be fine, and if I do remember something, you'll be the first to know. I'll be waiting back where we first met. Bye for now. Alright, let's take a look at that. I forgot what it was called, but I remember it had two triangles. Right here. Fail. Stay safe by concealing yourself from enemies. This spell creates a thick fog that conceals the caster's presence from those nearby. There will be times when you have no choice but to hide from your enemies. And at such times, the spell will prove indispensable. Just bear in mind that your veil will not hide your blushes should you be so foolish to actually bump it to an enemy. Okay. Actually use it. Oh, right here. Damn, ten. Let's do... Yes. Double room, sure. And there's a blue chest and a red chest. Oh, girl. We are like the flowers. We are blessed to simply be here, to simply be alive. Okay. See, dude. Talk to this guy. Being cool on this, preparing for the ceremony. You may go no further. Okay. Flan. Mimi Flan. Or Fairy Chocolate. Like, should be O. They're an easier one. Doesn't use some exotic material. Guard, what is he thinking? Why has he let in more outsiders? First, there was that giant man, and now children. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. We're looking for Queen Kulan. The guard said she was somewhere around here. Hmm, so you have come to receive our blessing. Here we flip and go again. What's all this about sacred ceremonies and blooming blessings? Eh, hey, you come to Perdita yet? You know nothing of blessings? Look deep into the eyes of the people here. See how we are blessed? No. Oh, we've seen them all right. Those people are blessed there. Broken hearted. Seems like some blessings aren't worth counting. Eh? What did the man say, Yaya? Our hearts, they are broken? Pay no attention, Carino. The blessings we have received have lifted the fear from our hearts. Do you know how many towns in this land have been wiped from our map by the Dark Jinn? But you can't just give in. You have to stand up to Shadar. Let me look at you, Nino. Ah, you're a wizard, are you not? How can you know what it is to have no magic, no power, nothing but fear in your heart? But, ma'am can't let your heart be broken just because it stops you from feeling afraid. He's right. What's the point of blessing like that? You may as well have your heart broken, Mishida. <laughs> Nina, Carino, it is nearly time for the ceremony to begin. Finally time for you to join us. It's time for you to be blessed. I am ready, Yaya. Then let us go. We must not keep... Queen Kulan waiting. Rip. I'm not so sure Queen Kulan's going to be much help, you know. Not if she's the one handling the handing out these so-called blessings. 
But if we don't do something, the little girl will end up like everyone else. We have to go after them. I guess. Let's go. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Stop. There, Nina. It will be over soon. There's a good girl, Carino. Yeah, yeah. May we begin the ceremony? Everything is in order, Queen Kulan. It's her. The Queen of the Heavens. We found Kulan. Got a bad feeling about this. Get a load of her eyes, will you? They're all weird. Jesus, <laughs> jeepers, she's broken hearted. Dal must have done this when he attacked Karsanadu. Now we know why she's been up to no good. Sending out these so-called blessings. If we don't do something, Nina will end up broken hearted too. No, let me go. What's the matter, my child? Dad, I don't want to be lost. I don't need it. I don't want to be broken hearted. Everyone's wrong. Nina. How dare you say such things in the presence of Queen Kulan? The child refuses my blessing? Then she leaves me no choice. For the benefit of this misguided girl, a special ceremony is required. Oh, what do you mean to do to her? What's happening? You gonna get killed? Uh, ha! Whoa. Oh. That's not good. Kulan's nightmare, void of love. Oh. It's a flipping nightmare! What's he gonna do with the poor dad? Nina's in danger. We've gotta save her. Oh. Come on, everybody. Shit. Fight. See if my controller works. Wait! Allow me! No, it doesn't. Okay, switching to mouse and keyboard. What do you Oh, I'm gonna switch my mouse. Mug shot. Okay, and then switch over to. Why is Discord <laughs> moving? <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Tab is like, where's defense? Where's defense? Oh shit. <laughs> oh, that's not good.
Wait, I gotta pause. Alright, okay. That's weird. <laughs> it's like I was all tab. Uh. is paid for. What the hell? So go, whatever this does.
Oh wait, he went down. Shit. Begun. Oh, there it is. Uh, oh, it's just me. So you know their spells do better than that. so hard. So bad. Ugh. Wow, finally.
Oh, come on. Can I click that up faster? Than... <laughs> I don't want Percy to hit and just buff his attack and do nothing. Oh, actually, about 300. That was a painful fight. <laughs> what can I say? It's a gift. That sucked. <laughs> Arab swing. Oh, my controller fell asleep. That's how I locked the button. <laughs> the. How long it took. <laughs> oh, 40. Where's the dance wall? Carino, are you all right? Your Highness, get away from me! You did. 
disappoint me, <gasps> Queen of the Heavens. Lord Shaddaa. Shaddaa, where is he? Hear me, Queen of the Heavens. Huh? The power of huh? your nightmare huh? is as good as spent. Huh? Though you are a sage, it would seem you are all too human. Perhaps I was wrong to choose you as my representative. Lord Shaddaa, I beg you, give me one more. It is too late. Shorn of the power of your nightmare, what use have I for one such as you? <gasps> Queen Kulan! Huh? huh? Kubla! Kubla! Ha! Oh. Sorry to keep you waiting. Kubla! <laughs> oh. I see. The dregs of Xanadu arrive. How amusing. I look forward to seeing how much of a fight you put up this time. You think Queen Kulan is back up to her old self again? Kubla, how dare you? That baseborn ruffian like you should presume to meddle in the affairs of a queen. <laughs> my apologies, your highness. I never did know my place to die. The same goes for the rest of you. What business can your unruly kind have with and such as I? Charming, isn't she? Looks like the queen of the heavens is still very much broken hearted. This looks like a job for you, lad. Can you do for the queen what you did for Tengri? Sure I can. I can mend her broken heart. There's no doubt about it. Her high and mightiness is missing as a spot of love. That's what makes the world go round in it. No love as she needs, is it? Who do we know that's brimming with love? If it's love you're after, I'm your man. How many hearts do I steal from him? <laughs> you what? You heard me. No man has more love for a woman than I have for Kulan. You love Queen Kulan? Never. <laughs> ah, he loves her. He loves her. Now we know. Now we know. <laughs> Enough of this nauseating talk of love. The very word turns my stomach. Ha <laughs> that speaks the fiery maiden I fell for. Tis music to my ears. Crikey. It must be love if he's happy talking, taking that kind of abuse on the chin. Yes, what's the best story between Kubla and Queen Kulan? I need to know. Calm down, will you? <laughs> Never mind that now. All we need to do know is that Kubla has to share some of the love in his heart with Queen Kulan. Ha <laughs> quite so. Have at it, lad. Alright. Uh, next time, just kidding. Uh, Shada, the Dark Jinn, the beast laid waste to Xanadu. Now I know why Queen Kulan has acted as she is. Gah, how could I fail to see Shadar's hand in this? I, who scared, left her side. What an idiot. Why do you have to interfere? You've ruined everything. Be gone. Torment me no more. I go in here. Better wait for Kulan to come back. Oh, man. Alright. What? Uh, oh, no, the talk. Just love you after. Look no further. No man cares more for a woman than I, Kulan. You know, a ladle full of love from the old pirate face. He's got flippin' hearts in his eyes. The big softy. Uh, take. You could take multiple hearts from people? That's crazy. The thing that makes the world go round. It obtains love. Thanks, Captain Kublai. Gee, that sure is a lot of love. That should be more than enough. Now we just need to give old Kulan the lid of it. Oh no, you boy. Use your magic to give her my love and bring her back to me. Ooh. And give. Oh god. Oh, my, my heart. Reply? Your Highness, you're back with us. I spoke so harshly to you just now. Can you find it in your heart to forgive me? I <laughs> think nothing of it. It was a pleasure to hear such rough and ready words from the mouth of a noble-born lady. Pray do not mock me, Kublai. I'm just glad Queen Kulan's not broken-hearted anymore. 
Oh, right. And I must say, I'm impressed with the old pirate face by here. That's two servings of his heart we've helped ourselves to now. Uh, you're right. It seems as if his love for the queen is a bit, little bit special. You call me queen? I am unworthy of such a title. The skyborne kingdom of Xanadu was torn from the heavens and cast into a di distant ocean. Not protect my realm. And then I come to this town and broke the hearts of its people. Truly, I am no queen. But your highness, you should be so hard on yourself. Listen to me, the people of Xanadu saw you as a wise and just ruler. You carried out your duties both as a queen and sage, and trained countless wizards. You've forgotten all the good you've done. Reply. You say it may be true, but it does not excuse the harm I have caused. I have inflicted so much suffering. Your Highness, we met the ghost of the Lady in Hamlin, a soldier who once served you. She was one of the people who died in Xanadu. She told us that so long as Queen Tulan was alive, there was hope for her people. Spoke of me, spoke of hope. And look around you. People of this town may be brokenhearted, but at least they're alive. Your Highness, let us return this town to its former self. It may take some time, but I know you could do it. You mean me? You may not be a queen any longer, but we still stand beside you. You are not alone, and who's to say you can't rebuild Xanadu? Oh, Kublai, thank you. Thank you, everyone. You are right. I give it to despair. I must become someone who can inspire hope in others. That is my duty. You aren't the only great sage who has led astray. Father and Moccasin suffered too. Yes, and Oliver here helped them just like he helped you. Now you're all fighting fit. The battle against evil can finally begin in earnest. Wait a minute, there's something I've been mean dying to ask. I need to know how long something's been going on between Queen Kula and Kublai. I mean, a queen in the sky bird, it's so romantic. Ah, <sighs> do you have to be so nosy? Kublai is known as fe and feared as the king of the sky pirates. There's more to him than meets the eye. Grr, quite right, I'm a man of many talents, and bring the fearless leader of a band of swashbuckling sky pirates in just one of them. Kublai also served as the commander of Xanaduvian Airborne Division, in which role he fought for Queen Kulan. Avast, I can speak for myself, you slack shot cur. You were a commander in Xanadu? Indeed he was. Since the time of the Wizard Wars, Xanadu has avoided conflict. But neutrality cannot be maintained without significant military power, as forces form part of that power. Oh, I get it. Lonely servant who ended up falling head over heels in love with the queen. That's a classic. Wayne, do you always have to be so blunt? Ah, but it's true. I've watched over her since she was but a girl, and I can't say I do feel for her, but I am a mere soldier. It's not can be done about that. Gee, that must be tough. But that was then. Things have changed. Changed? Changed how exactly? Did you not hear my words early? I am a queen no longer. There are no ranks or barriers to keep us apart. And a pee, do you truly mean? I have been quite clear. Please do not make me spell it out. I, uh, I... Marku Blight, don't be so slow. Let me act, Mon. Put us out of our misery, won't you? How many flippin' times are you gonna make this poor moan say it? Tell your chattering tongues or I'll cut them off. You you stand before the king of the sky pirates. Gah, alright, alright. The benevolent grace of the queen of heaven's heart has unlocked the start in the wizard's companion. How oh, the little girl in the clean queen. The hearts of the people of Perdita have been restored. Young Nina, you must have been terribly afraid. I must apologize only for my actions. Do not worry, Queen Kulan. I am happy that you have become so kind and gentle. Everything in Perdita is so bright and happy now. We will never give in to Shadar. Your words are music to my ears. Truly, children like you are the bearers of hope and the hope of a brighter future. We, who are old enough to know better, chose the path of cowardice. All we wanted was to be free of fear, to be protected from the truth. 
Well, what's done is done and all that. I just hope that Rodder Shadar is not still hanging about waiting to pounce. I know what I must do. My duty is to protect the people of Perdita from Shadar. I vow never to let this dark despair engulf this town again. I will make amends for all I have done. Asias, your highness. Then, it seems I have no choice. I'll throw my lot in with you, your highness. We'll protect this puny village together. Oh, good lie. There are other duties to which you must attend. It's not only this town that must be protected from the dark pull of Shadar's despair. For an airship, you may travel freely around your world. You understand what it is that I ask of you? Ah, I do. At that, only too well. Oh, but you only just got together. Oh, Ply, though you may be apart, we will always be together, as long as we share the same goal. Ah, <laughs> you are not wrong, your highness. You always did have a way with words. Looks like everything's worked out then. Oh, but before I forget, there was a reason we came here, to the middle of nowhere. Oh, yeah. I'm aware of this. It concerns Mornstar, does it not? Yes, we're trying to restore its power. We did manage to find the three magic stones, but even Moxen couldn't reunite them with the wand. It was beyond Moxen's powers, you say? Could that be? Tell me more. Well, he speculated that it might be because we brought Mornstar here from the past. Hmm, a masked wizard who can manipulate time himself. I'm most curious as to what his intentions could be. But I shall ponder that at my leisure. Priority is to put to stop it to Shadar's plans. Perform the required ritual without delay. ID sounds like old Gulan knows how it needs to get more star back in one piece, eh? There, Sandy. Now, oh, young Alifa, I shall require some assistance in this undertaking. Are you willing to help me? Sure, Queen Cole, I'm just telling you what I have to do. In response, the ritual must be performed outside. When you're ready, come see me. I shall be waiting. Uh, right? Holy shit. Oh man, there's all this stuff. Should I just do the ritual now? Uh, go up to here. It won't start, right? Okay. Alright, guys, I'll end up here, and then we'll, next time we'll do the ritual, and then. Looks like we got a bunch of quests, so we'll be doing that next time. Thanks for watching, see ya, bye!